Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss 001 video. And today, I'm gonna play X-Plane again. What a surprise, right? And today, we're actually at Kai Tak Airport. Kai Tak or Kai Tak, I don't, I don't know. It was an airport right in the middle of Hong Kong. And yes, this idea sounds as stupid as it is. I say around 100 years ago, this airport was built when architecture looked different here. I think it was 1925. You know, commercial air travel is kind of starting to be a thing. So Hong Kong built a relatively small airport with a relatively short runway, actually. Like, this is not a long runway. So yeah, as the years flew by... Yeah, I got a nice pun there. The city started growing, and approaching this airport had become, like, way more difficult. As you can see, we have skyscrapers on the left, and we have skyscrapers on the right, and here and, and everywhere, basically. And this is what actually made this airport to close. And, you know, this airport was just a bit too small to handle all the air traffic. This was actually, like, the major airport here. So, yeah, we had A340s, MD-11s flying in here. Like, actually thick jets. Also, it was the hub of many airlines, like Cathay Pacific. Yeah, and yes, I'm still sorry for saying that it's an Indonesian airline once. Now, Cathay Pacific is like the only good Indonesian airline. Like, you don't want to fly Lion Air over there, but, you know, let's actually put it into a... So yeah, in the late 1980s, Hong Kong started planning on a new airport, on a thicker airport. Because obviously this smaller airport doesn't have as much capacity as it should have. So blah blah blah, a few years later, Hong Kong International was built. And this airport closed in 1998, nearly 21 years ago. And again, it was because the approach was too dangerous because of all those buildings. And, well, the water right after the runway. And for some reason, my water is completely broke. But was it really that dangerous and really that demanding? Let's find out. So yeah, we're already spawned in with this jet. There we go. This worked fine. You know what? Let's just go ahead and approach in with a 737. So this is how the approach worked out. You used to fly over this part of the city where there are no skyscrapers because otherwise that would have been 9-11-24-7. No, no. Let's just go ahead and start the approach and hope to not die and crash. I mean, crash and die. Okay, let's see if I survive this. Okay, let's gear down. I don't want to crash into that skyscraper. I don't want to get too close to it. You have to really go for a bank angle here. We're a bit high actually not looking too bad oh god yeah i apologize for this really bad landing oopsies ouch but again like look at that bank angle i can now kind of understand why this is not a thing anymore why is there a tractor here but can we land a space shuttle there hell yeah here we are in the space shuttle approaching kaitak oh god oh god yep so the space shuttle is really bad when it comes to handling. <clears throat> let's try again. Yeah, let's just approach straight. Should I just go full power for one moment and see if the skyscrapers fall over? I don't know. <laughs> Boom. This was a bad idea. Okay, gear out. 300 knots landing. Hell yeah. We have a parachute. We don't care. So yeah, now these days, there's a ship harbor right at this airport, which I can't imagine because this, uh... Oh. I think a touchdown speed of 300 knots is really not that good. Now, let's try to use the thick jets. This is the bottle plane. It looks kind of small at first glance, but if you actually take a closer look at it, it's like actually giant. <laughs> Especially the back angle will be quite fun to do. Okay, so we're approaching the airport in this very thick, 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 ultra thick plane. But it still has a bit of a better handling than the A380. Oh god, we're stalling out. Oh my god, I was going 97 knots what's going on do you even physics jesus this is barely turning to the right oh god that landing was earlier than i expected unless you can see the landing gear is like very tall boom <laughs> but we stopped quite early probably because of that landing speed of 90 knots i don't know now the thing is we have clear skies no wind right now but obviously in a normal city that is not always the case okay let's try to approach again in the 737 no let's try the 747 this time but this time stormy how about that so yeah we even have straight crosswind let's hope that we survive this oh god oh god i really don't like this please don't die oh my goodness go around jesus look at that wow hell no you can always go around 
Bank angle, bank angle, bank angle. Okay, now excessive bank angle to the right. Let's hope that we stop. No, 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 no. Stop. Oh. I messed something up with the reverse thrust at first. Yeah, this approach really does not look comfortable. Now let's try the king of the skies. The Antonov 225. Totally not a bad idea, right? Oh god. That was a hard landing. Oh no. No. Yeah, now I get why it is for the better to not use this airport anymore. Thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.